Sorry guys, I haven't been uploading lately at all. It's because of my large schedule of changes and all this quarantine and then a lot of homework. But now I'm back, I'm back to uploading. I'll try to upload every single day, but we'll see what happens, all right? So let's go over this topic called link lists. From the poll, I, I saw that you guys want me to go over graphs, but link lists are actually the most easiest topic to go over really quickly. And I also don't have that much time. So, so what is a link list? A link list is basically just, well, from the name of it, it's a list. It's a list of objects and they are arranged by links. Okay, that's what a link list is. So let's say I have this object called, uh, I don't know, let's let's say, let's say label it as A, B, and C. Okay, so I have A, B, and C. These are just uh, letters in an alphabet. And if, if I insert them into a link list, let's say I insert A into the list, that's, and then I insert B. What that does is if I insert A and then I enter B, it connects A to B doing a pointer. And we call this the dot, uh, next pointer, right? Next, right? It's next is B. And if I insert C, the B's pointer, because B is at the last element of the link list, gets point to C. So as you can see here, if I insert like a bunch of elements, I'm pretty much just adding a link from the last element to the next one that I'm adding. So if I insert D, I'm gonna have a D. I'm gonna insert it right here, okay? I have a pointer of the last element. I'm gonna point it, it's next, pointer to D. So that's basically what a link list is. So you have pointers from every single element. Uh, the next value is the next pointer and it points to the next element that you're adding in whatever list, okay? Okay, so now let's talk about double W link list. So W link lists are the exact same thing as link lists. So this is W link list. Same thing. Um, let's say I were to add insert A, B, C, D. Okay. So if I, I'm going to create an object of A and then I'm going to create another object of B, right? The one I'm adding. I'm going to add A's, uh, A's next pointer to B. What a W link list is, it's the exact same thing as a link list, except we have another pointer called previous. So remember this, this is the next, this is next, right? The next pointer of next. B is previous is A. So we have another pointer for previous. So the a double link list is the exact same thing as a link list, except all the links, we, instead of having just a pointer to the next element, we also have a pointer to the previous element. So th in this case, we have A's next pointer goes to B, B's previous goes to A, okay? Now let's say I'm gonna add C and then D, okay, C and D. Uh, if I add insert C, I'm gonna insert create an object of C, and I'm gonna point B's next to C, and I'm gonna point C's previous to B, right? And that's what a double link list is. And if I insert D into this double link list, I'm gonna create a link to D, and C's next pointer is gonna be D, and then D's previous is gonna be C, okay? So if I want to access uh, whatever elements there is, uh, let's say D, I wanna, I wanna link to the previous of D, I do D dot previous, D dot previous, and that'll give me C, okay? So that's how these, Link lists work, all right? So now uh, let's talk about something else. So link lists could be sorted or unsorted. It really doesn't matter. It depends on like the order you're adding it. So like if I inserted like A and then C and then B, it would have, would have been A, C, B, right? It, it's not like sorted, it's not in sorted order. Okay, um, so how so how do you create a link list though? Like how do you, how do you add values to a link list? So in both of these, um, what people normally do in some implementations of linked lists, they have something called the head pointer. So let's I call this head. And what the head pointer does, it's just a pointer that indicates if it's the first element of linked list. So the head is gonna point to the first element of linked list, which is this is A, right? That's the head of the linked list. In some implementations, there's also a tail. The tail would point to the end of the linked list, okay? So here, sometimes some implementations, we have a tail pointer that points to the end of the link list. So that really de depends on whatever, whichever implementation some people do. Some people implement it like this, some people implement it like that, but yeah. Um, what you could do if you do have a head pointer is that if the head's null, which means it has no value, right? If this head points to null, what does that tell you? That tells you that this whole link list is empty. Right, like if, if this head is pointing to, if, not, if uh, this head pointer is pointing to like nothing, null, right? Let's say this link list is null, then that means this whole link list is empty, right? Because if you, if it has to point to something in order to show that it's there, the it's not empty, right? So yeah, if if there if a head pointer is null, that means your link list is empty, okay? Okay, so now let's talk about searching. So sometimes. If I want to search for a value in a linked list, what do I have to do? Well, um, 
let's go back to this example. This example, A, B, C, D. Let's say I want to find the value C. So how am I going to find the value C? Like I want to find this value C. Well, to do this, I actually have to start from the beginning and then keep going to the next. Keep going, keep going until I find the value C, right? If I reach the end of the list, which is I reach to the D, like the end of the list, and C is still not found, then that means C doesn't exist in the, the link list. Okay, so if you were to start at the beginning, to search for an element in a link list, you have to start from the beginning and keep going to the, to the next value. So let's say I want to find C. I'm going to start at the beginning A. I have to go to the next value of A, B. Is B a C? No, it's not. All right, I'm going to go find the next value of B. The next value of B is C. C is equal to C, yes. So I'm going to return true. Okay. Um, if I reach to the end and I still can't find the value of C, then that means it doesn't exist. So the pseudocode for that is going to be, I'm going to put it right down right here, list search. In CLRS, they do it, uh, they, they have this method called list search, which is, um, it takes in two parameters, list search. Sorry guys, my pencil is a little off. I have to sharpen it. Our list ser search, um, they have this, they have... L, which is the list, and K is the value you're searching. So this is the list, and K is the value you're searching. So what is the pseudocode? Um, I'm going to create a pointer called uh, X, which is going to equal to start from the head. Right? I'm going to start from the head. So this is going to be list.head. This is just pseudocode, guys, in actual examples. Uh, you actually have to code it in different languages. They, they code it differently, but basically you would have a, you would have a pointer that you create, which is X equal to list I head. Then what you're going to do is you're going to check while it's not null and the key or the value, whatever value is, is not equal to K. Then we are going to just keep going to the next element. And then after that, we just return. Okay. So what is the pseudocode? What is the pseudocode doing? Basically, the pseudocode is doing is that, sorry guys, I have to push this. Okay, so what is the pseudocode doing? You're creating a variable x, and you're gonna point it to the head, which is the beginning of the list. While x is not null, right, so that means it's not empty, um, you, and the key is not equal to the key that you're searching for, you're gonna keep going to next, all right? After that, you're gonna return x, which is the pointer that you're at, right? So in this case, if I'm at, I'm at a, right, I'm at A, and I keep going, uh, I'm gonna create a variable X, I'm gonna start at A, right, which is head, the list is, uh, this is the list, and I'm gonna start at the head, which is A. I'm gonna keep going next, B, and then C, until I, until I reach the key's value, which is equal to the one I'm searching for, like, I'm trying to search for C, it's gonna equal to C, and then I'm done, okay? So this pseudocode is basically doing is that we are checking for we're keep we're gonna keep going until we reach the end, right? The x not equal to null. This x not equal to null basically is telling you that uh, you're gonna keep going until you reach the end. Because uh, no, at the end, at the end of the list, it's gonna point to null. So sorry guys, I forgot to tell you, but uh, null means empty, right? Null means that there's nothing there. So like at d's end, it's gonna be like null stuff like that. Yeah. So this what this is searching for in this search is that it's gonna start from the head. I'm gonna keep going until we haven't reached the end of the list and uh, our key value is not equal to it, right? Then we're gonna keep going to the next value. Uh, after this condition uh, breaks, right? If this condition is done, then we're gonna return the whatever value or key value that we are searching for, right? Uh, if we reached it. Um, if, if it's not, if it doesn't exist in the list at all, then this is actually going to just return null because this is going to keep going until we reach to the end, right? Uh, while X is not equal to null that, uh, remember the last value, the last value you're pointing at is null and that this checks for the end of the list. So yeah, this is a uh, searching through a list. All right guys. So what if you want to insert an element before the head at the head or before the head? Okay. So when I said at the head, this should be before the head, but Let's say we're gonna add insert an element before the head. So in this case, if I'm gonna insert an element before the head, this is the pseudocode that 
CLRS gave us. And I'm going to explain that to you guys right now. So let's say I want to insert, let's say I have this list A, B, C, D, right? This is a little link list A, B, C, D, and the head is A. So what do I do? I'm gonna create, I want to insert the element K. I want to insert the element K before the head of the A. So what do I do? I'm going to point K's next to point to the head of A. And then all I have to do is now just set the head pointer. So I'm gonna get rid of the head pointer, right? Now I'm gonna set the head pointer to now point to the new element K. And then that would, that would basically, they'll basically just add the element K before the head of A in our list. And that will do what it does. So in pseudocode, this is what you do. X is the element that you're inserting, that you wanna insert before the head of the element of the li our list L. So L is the list, X is the element you're trying to insert. So what do you do? You set X, X is ne next to point to the list's head. So what we did, that's what we did here, right? If the list's head is null, uh, is not null, um, this is setting the previous to point to X. Okay, so th in this uh, in this case, the setting the previous to, to point to X, if your list is a doubly linked list, you would do this. So if, if in our in in this case, if this was a W link list, like they had previous pointers all over, you would point A's previous to point to K. That that's what you would do, because uh, if the uh, if the head, list's head is not null, you're going to point the previous of its head to point back to the element that we're trying to add, which is X. That's what you would do here. Um, but if you're not if your list is not doubly linked list, you could just ignore this condition completely. But yeah. And then after that, you just reset your list's head pointer to now point to X, which is the element that you're adding, okay? And that's what this, that's what this code is doing. The list's head is not gonna point to the w one that we just added. And then um, if you, if this were a doubly linked list, you would also point K's previous to be null, right? Uh, previous would become null. Uh, this, is, this is just to show that like, uh, you you don't have any elements before k because of your head node. This is just like this is just like a precaution, you know, setting your previous to null. Um, yeah, because in double in double linked lists, you want to make sure that uh, your head actually the previous value of your head actually has no element. So that's what you would do here. You would set k's previous to point to null. So yeah, that's that's basically how you would insert before the head. And yeah, then let's go over uh, deleting 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 a node. All right guys, so I'm gonna explain to you guys how to do delete now. So in the delete, in CLRS, they're, they're assuming that this is a doubly linked list, but I'll, how about I explain it with a singly linked list first, and then I'll explain CLRS's code. So this is a singly linked list. Let's say I wanna delete C. Well, first of all, I have to find C first. So if I want to find C, I have to traverse through it and find C. So I have to find C. So I have to get this value to delete, right? I want to delete C, so I found C. Now, what do I have to do? Well, I have to get the previous previous pointer of C and point it to C's next, D. So that would, that would remove this C. But the issue with that is that I can't just get this B value, uh, the previous value of C, because I don't have a pointer to the previous value, right? It's not a doubly linked list. So I, I would have to traverse again and then find this B value, the B value, which is the, the node before the value that I have to delete. So I have to get this. So once I got the previous value that's before the node that I want to delete, I just said it's next. So B's next is now going to point to whatever what C was pointing to. So that was, that's D. So now B's next is now D. And then that's it. Now I just have to set C's then the value I'm going to delete, it's next to be null. And that would just remove it, right? That will remove the value of a single linked list, okay? So that's how you remove it in a single linked list. You have to traverse through it. Keep track, you have the, the previous previous node that's before the one that you have to delete. You have to find the one that you delete. You have to get the node that's before it and then set its next pointer to point to the node after that, the one that you're going to delete. So that would remove the node completely, okay? So now let's go over the CLRS's delete 
their deletion. So in their deletion, they're using a doubly linked list. So now, because they're using a doubly linked list, let's see, B, D, A. So let's say I'm gonna delete C. Well now, because it's a doubly linked list, I have a pointer to the previous value, so I don't have to traverse again and try to find the node before it. So now, what do I have to do? What does the first code say? Okay, so this, if, so X is the one that we're trying to delete, so this X is to delete, L is the list, right? So what does their CLRS's code say? Okay, so if X dot previous is not equal to null. So here's just checking if what we're deleting is not the first value of the list. This is just checking if it's not the first value of the list, right? Because if it's the first value of the list, we could just set the head to the next. So yeah. So the value we're trying to delete x, which is c, is c. So this is one we're to delete. And this is basically x. This is x, right? So previous is not null, right? So our, our x is previous is not null, right? Our x is previous, c is previous is b, and this is not null. So what do we do? We set x is previous is next pointer. So x is previous is next pointer. So b is next pointer is going to be equal to x is next. So what's x is next? x is next is uh, c is next, and that's d. So this will set b's pointer to now point to d. Okay, so that's what this does. Um, and then, then what does it check? If x is next, so c is next, d, if it's not equal to null, yeah, it's not null, then we also have to update the previous pointer. So we're gonna set x dot next, so c is next, is D, D's previous, we got this set to X is previous. So this D's previous is now going to equal to X is previous. X is previous, or C is previous was B. So that would get, do that. And that basically removes it. So now, whenever you traverse through the list, this list, you would have A, B, D, and then D's previous goes to B. So then C is never, literally never here. C was never here. So the C is now deleted, okay? So that's what this code does. It, checks the previous value, updates the previous values next to be the whatever's after the one that we're trying to delete, and then updates the one that the, the node afterwards, it's previous to be the ones to the node that was before the one that we're trying to delete. So that changes these pointers to be point to the right one. All right, let's go to the case of this case where it's the else statement. So in this case, let's say where I'm trying to remove the for head so let's say I'm trying to remove, uh, uh, let's see, if B is next, yeah, let's say I'm trying to remove A, right, which is the head, so here. That's what this else statement checks. So if um, one I'm trying to move, so uh, the one I'm trying to remove is A, so X is A right now, okay, so if A's previous is not equal to null, in this case, it is equal to null, right? So what do we do in this scenario when I'm trying to remove A? All you have to do is just set the head pointer to point to A's next. So now head is now gonna to point to B. And then that's it, pretty much. Because now, whenever we traverse through this list, we start, remember we always start with the head and we traverse afterwards. So it's almost as if A never existed. A never existed, right? A head is now pointing to that. So head is now pointing to the whatever value was after, the one that we're trying to delete head, and it never existed. So yeah, that's how you do delete, delete nodes in a single linked list and a double linked list. So what, are, what is the caveat of linked lists? The problem is that you have to traverse through every single time, so that's O of N. R removing and deleting, this is removing and deleting. Okay, so like, um, if I try, I have to go through like searching, searching and deleting, I have to go through it, find whichever value I have to delete. I also have to find the previous node in order to update its pointers. So that's why it's O of N. Um, just like, just changing the, the pointers, that just that's just constant, that's O of one, right? If I'm just like constant of stuff like that, that's just O of one, right? So yeah, that, that's how you do, that's how you remove and delete in a linked list. That's basically all of the linked lists. Um, Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.